Hey guys, it's Lauren here popping in today to share with you a layout for the Hip Kick Club design team. Now I have a beautiful cut file here and I have some beautiful papers by Maggie Holmes in the new Sunny Days collection and these were all part of the March kit and that cut file formed part of the April subscriber cut files. Now that cut file you Originally in its form is a wheelbarrow with this beautiful bouquet sitting on top. But what I did in my Silhouette software was I took out the wheelbarrow part and enlarged it so I would have this beautiful basket full of flowers and florals for my layout here today. So that's something I, I want you to have a think about with your cut files. It, Always have a look at it to see whether you can modify it slightly to make something unique and also just to, you know, have a have, push yourselves a bit creatively around your silhouette software and how you're thinking about cut files. Even if it's not modifying the design itself, have a think about enlarging it, filling your whole page or making or shrinking it right down just to have a, a little bit of a feature. So I challenge you to have, think outside the square a little for your cut files. And that's what I did here. And I'm so happy I did because I have this beautiful basket, uh, you know, but bouquet basket to uh, to back and create a feature on my layout here for you today. So I was challenged as part of the team to do a monochromatic layout. Now at first I thought, oh my goodness, how am I going to do this? Because this kit is so full of beautiful pattern papers, lots of different colours and I thought, I don't, I don't even know how I'm going to to be able to do this but I really enjoyed the challenge of sitting down with all the kits and just flicking through and pulling out some of the pieces that I knew were all in similar tones. I decided to go with the blues because the photo that I have of my daughter and my niece was a day when they were at a at a fun beachy fun park thing and they were having a good time and I really wanted to document that. And so I thought the blue tones would be perfect for that. And I was really fortunate enough that there was lots of blue tones really popping through when I actually had eyes to look for it. So I challenge you to do a bit of a monochromatic layout, which is a layout that where you only use one colour and you're allowed to use black and white. And see if you can create something special just pit by picking a colour. Now, obviously, if you're not a Hip Kit Club subscriber, that you know that that's no matter. Challenges are for anyone, and I know that even people with um, limited scrapbooking supplies can really take part in challenges and really think creatively um, with some different ideas. So I challenge everyone here today to try a monochromatic layout because even though I was really thinking, oh my goodness, how's this going to turn out? I am so happy with the end result. So here I am, I'm just backing this cut file and it is a bit of a tedious job and quite frankly I wasn't in the mood today to do that so I really sort of skimped out on backing it all. I know it would look lovely if I backed it all but I thought I'm just going to do some key flower points and then just sort of put the blue tones in there and then let the, the white take over. So as you can see, that's all I've done. Pretty much it's just four flowers are back there and the basket. And then to help it sort of jump off and uh, sort of take a life of its own, I'm just using a black fine point pen and I'm just outlining all the leaves and all the flowers and the basket just to give it some added dimension there and really sort of get those leaves to be features of their own and the, the, the flowers just to jump off a little bit there. So it comes together really really easily uh, in the end and so also if you're not feeling like you want to sit and back a cut file for three hours have a think about maybe what sections really need to be backed because often we cover a large portion of our cut files with a photo and just do those sections or do what I've done here which is just leave some white and unbacked and it still looks lovely in the end. So I thought I would go with the navy polka dot as my background there and usually I don't like heavily patterned papers as my background but I thought when I popped this basket, this bouquet on top of that I thought it could really handle it and the fact that I was using a black and white photo 
re- that would that really stands out because it's got some strong black tones in it. I thought the photo and the cut file could sort of cope with having a busier background. So you'll see me once I finished here, just sort of playing around with how I'm going to set set this out. Now, I not only myself has been challenged to do a monochromatic layout, other girls on the design team have taken part in this challenge as well. So I, I, you know, I encourage you to pop on over to the Hip Kick Club YouTube channel, their Facebook group, uh, their blog, and really see what each of the girls have done, which surprised me when we're all working out of the same kit, how different our monochromatic layouts all turned out. So if you're feeling like you want to give this challenge a go, I encourage you to jump on over to the Hip Kit Club, look around and see what the girls have done, and then sort of jump in and go from there, getting ideas from everyone Uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed it and I know that you guys will too. How beautiful is this black and white photo paper? This Sunny Days collection's really, at first I wasn't too sure about it, but um, living in Australia and it has this beachy kind of fun feel, I, I've once I started using it, I've really fallen in love with it. And I don't usually like sort of uh, papers that have uh, photos or realistic images on there. But when I put, saw this photo in its vintage kind of form and it has some fun sayings on it, I, th- I really fell in love with it. And I thought this is going to be a way that I will be able to tone down that background a bit, but still maintain that feature of my photo and um, incorporate some of these other other beautiful features just in just in from pattern paper. So as you can see here, I've only used I've used one, two, three, four pattern papers for this layout uh, just to get get the function of it and then you'll see me come in with a few embellishments but really in the big scheme of things these layouts turning out to be quite cost effective in um, if you're really scrapbooking on a budget. Just to help jump it off um, I'm just backing that photo with a bit of a bright blue there and that will help um, bring out the bright blues you know, I'm really looking for as many blue elements as I can to pop into the, the layout, being that's my chosen colour for this monochromatic theme. And I knew, I knew that I was sort of having these lots of black and white tones, which are part of the rules, but I know that the feature of a monochromatic is to really pick one colour and make it stand out on your layout. So I just was sort of playing around here and I wanted those photos to look as though they were kind of jumping out of the basket. Um, So it's kind of like a fruit bowl with all the fruit sort of popping out of the basket and I really was trying to create that effect. So using some foam tape, I I end up playing around with it. The foam tape really gave that dimensional look and this layout is quite heavily dimensional. I don't usually do that because it usually forms part of an album alongside my Project Life pages. But for this one, I thought this is going to be a bit of a feature layout and I might even pop it in a frame for a little while that will go in my daughter's room. And so I knew a bit of dimension wasn't going to hurt and I'm really happy with the end result. So I'm just playing with the Sunny Days chipboard here. Beautiful, fun, colourful. It's got some citrus themes. It's got beachy themes. It's got sort of some home traditional themes. And I knew that um, being not frightened of dimension, I could grab some of those really thick quality chipboard pieces and add them into the layout. So once again, just trying to get that tucking into the basket theme. So making sure I'm not poking it out outside the basket because I want it to kind of look like it's all all tucked away in there and um, just adding those blue elements. So as you can see I've kind of at this point now going yes this is what I want my layout to look like and we're up to the fun stuff which is just pulling out lots of different blue embellishments and having a play and working out where they would go. Now, the one thing I was sort of having a bit of a struggle with is a title for this layout. I knew that I wanted it to really kind of stand out because it's this layout's quite busy in many respects. So I was sort of having a bit of a having a bit of a think while I'm fussy cutting these butterflies around how am I gonna sort of fit a layout that's not too big uh, but still gonna stand out. So you'll see me in a second sort of 
floundering a bit with the embellishments but I was just having a break and thinking about this and by I thought these beautiful blue butterflies made my monochromatic job really easy and I knew that they were they were really bold and punchy and they would stand off and they were perfect to kind of float out of a basket full of flowers so I added those um, I've added those in I've just put a to adhere these down I've just used some wet glue and I've just run a strip down the center of them. I haven't adhered the wings because I kind of want the wings to lift up a little. And um, to do that, a way of doing that and securing it properly is just using a little bit wet bit of wet glue down the center of the butterfly. Here you go. I can't even get the lid off. Then I realize it's a twist top. <laughs> I've got a new wet glue. I'm trying this one out because all the other ones keep getting clogged up. It's a new... Oh, no, hang on. Let me, let me get it. It's a Tombow mono liquid glue multi xl it's got two different um ends on it one sort of a thick end and one's a really thin end i was really getting sick of my wet glue kind of clogging up and i'd have to deal with it every time i was starting a new layout but this uh little tombow glue here is it seems to be to hold you know coping really well and not getting clogged up um, and I don't even, the lid doesn't even have like one of those pins to posh, push into the top. So it just must be the, the way the glue is made preventing that from happening. How cute are these little bows? I, I struggled. I didn't want to pull this paper clip off, but I really wanted a little sweet bow there. I didn't want any gold elements because I'm being very good with my monochromatic you know, criteria. So I end up taking off that paper clip and I'm sure I'll use that on another layer and adding this sweet little dimensional bow there just to sort of girly it up and pretty it up um, for these two sweet little cousins that love hanging out together. Currently they've just run off down the street with Elsa the dog. Who knows what adventures they're about to embark on. I've just told them that they've got a half hour limit and they need to need to get back so I think they've gone off down the river and having a little bit of an adventure um, which is which is lovely it's school holidays here in Australia so we have this nice time where the kids are not under any pressure all the after school commitments are, are put aside and and they just get to have fun and be cousins and hang out which is which is really lovely so here I am so you can kind of see me jumping around with my titles and I just really didn't know what to do but then I finally decide sunny and bright in these epoxy little epoxy stickers which I think are like a thickers brand and these ones are um, made to fit with the with the sunny days collection I thought this would be perfect and it it hasn't taken away but you can definitely see it and that's what I, I really like about it so sunny and bright which that day we, was just a lovely sunny bright happy happy day just a few little epoxy hearts there to finish off and I'm really just trying to look for some touches to keep within that uh, monochromatic theme so I'm looking through all the embellishments what else blue can I find that will fit in there um, those puffy stickers they are on the hoarding list um, they, they're just stunning and I know that beautiful Kim Watson who designed that collection is you know she's but she always makes such beautiful things I don't want to use them but I knew that bright blue sticker was perfect for up in that corner so here I am just finishing off with some of the shimmers products we've received in past color kits just to add a few little blue splatters there just to tone down that heavy spot and you know sort of to make it a bit of a sea misty feel um, so I'm going to that that one that blue I think is a let me see if I can find it. Yeah, it's a Vibes, Shimmers Vibes in the colour Deep Blue Sea. And then I thought I would um, grab the little Shimmers Pot, which is a cremise, and the colour is Ride the Tide. And that little, these little pots here are just fabulous. You add water, you mix it around, and you've got yourself a little bit of a watercolour feel there. And I thought that lighter blue contrast with the deep blue contrast was just some lovely little finishing touches there and sort of just made the layout magical so here you go there it's it's all come together a happy fun little layout uh that's that you know I just adore and I'm really glad that I kind of kicked 
kicked goals with that monochromatic challenge. All right, guys, I'll be back again soon with another layout. If you like this layout, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I'd love you. I'd love to become a new subscriber if you like my scrapbooking style. Okay, take care. Bye.